Gladiator. We're going to do a review on a 2023 Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. That's what I said, baby. Let's get it. Baby. Let's look at the front of this bad boy now. We got the classic Jeep grill with the seven slashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, sir. And we got the nice little Jeep lights. These are up-to-date lights. These are the nicer lights. My Jeep, I got a 2018. It's still a JL, but it ain't got these cool lights like this. Like the little cool lights. I love that. And we got the nice little black in this inside. Is that black or is that, is that granite? That's granite. That ain't even black. So we got the nice little color to make the lights pop out a little bit. You see what I'm saying? See how the lights popping a little bit with that? We got the nice little bumper on here. I ain't really too fond of the stock Jeep bumper. I'm going to be all the way honest. I, and I still got my stock Jeep bumper, but we got a lot of mods coming to my Jeep. Shh, don't tell nobody. But yeah, I like this stock Jeep bumper. It's not really terrible because I like the little openness right here. I do like this part. I, actually, I love this part. Let me just stay like I love this part of the Jeep. I love that part of the Gladiator, the little bumper on the Gladiator. But that's you can get the same Jeep, same uh, bumper on a regular Jeep. And I like the little hooks right here. I like these, that they're a little red. This red signifies that it's a Rubicon, for those who don't know. The red right here means that it's a Rubicon. But yeah, let's look at it, man. It's real nice in the front. I like the little uh, signal lights right here. I do like the little signal lights, although I think they're a little bulky. I got the same ones on my uh, Jeep on the fender flares. I wish that they would uh, make them a little thinner. You know, they can cut a little bit of this. They just cut that much of it off. I think it'll be a lot, but they'll look a lot more sleek, a lot, look a lot better, you know what I mean? They would definitely look a lot better. Also, when you get the Rubicon, you get the nice little hood with the little vents in it. You know, you get the nice vented hood. Look at how nice that hood is. Cool, you ain't even gotta get no aftermarket hood if you get the Rubicon, because uh, I got a Jeep in my, my hood that I can't have with. I'm gonna show you what the hood came with on mine. This is what the hood looked like on mine. Fart. <laughs> I'm not knocking nobody that got that hood. I'm just saying that's what the hood on my my Jeep came. It looked like that hood, and uh, I had to change it out if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, it's definitely got a nice looking hood on this bad boy. And uh, this what color is this? This is regular gray, silver. This is called silver. So this is silver. I thought it was gray. But we know it's gray. It's gray. But they call it silver, but we know it's gray. But yeah, it's definitely looking so the front. Looks like a regular Jeep. You know, every Jeep has the same look. That's a, that's a Jeep. All these Jeeps got the same exact look from the uh, Gladiators to the, just the Saharas and the uh, Wranglers, you know. And when we make our way to the side, you got the nice little Rubicon uh, decal on the side. Got the nice Rubicon decal on the side. Definitely like that. And I like how it's black with the red. That goes with this gray, silver. That black, red, and gray, and uh, silver, they all, that cut all those colors go together. So it makes the Rubicon just pop out, you know, just bing. And it's in red, you know what that means, Rubicon. You got the trail rated uh, emblem right there in red and uh, granite, granite. Granite for that guy that was in my uh, co comments. And you saying granite, it's granite, granite. <laughs> But yeah, and then you got your Jeep sign right here. Nice little Jeep emblem with it, with the outline of the red, with the granite. I love it, baby. I love it. It says, let everybody know you got the Gladiator with the American flag. I wish this was just like this. See how this Jeep sign is real? It's real. You know what I'm saying? You can touch it. This is nothing but a sticker, and I'm not really feeling that. That should have, these both should have been popping out the same way. They should have made, made it the same interior. I said interior, same material. I wish they would have made them all in the same material, but it is what it is. They should, they could at least put the flag, made the flag like that, but it's called saving money. You know what I mean? They trying to save a little bit of cash. And uh, let's work our way down to the uh, mirrors. They still got the same regular little mirrors on all Jeeps. This hand, I don't think this one got lane assist on it. No, it don't got lane assist, but it's got it's heated. So, and you know you can turn these in manually. These are these are you can put turn, fold them in manually if you want to. And uh, I wonder if these is kind of run. Is these uh? They don't got no running boards on it. It doesn't have any running boards on it. We're gonna have to give it a fart for that. Yeah, it don't got no running boards on the side, but it still look good. You can you, most in, anyway. You gonna end up taking these right on off of there anyway, putting your own up on, on there. You know I like the fender flares. You know I like anything that's got hips. And look at this. It's got them hips. It's got them hips. And you know I like my ladies thick, like I like my jeeps thick. <laughs> but yeah, it look good though. And uh, we got the do, these doors. You wanna go, go right here? These doors on it, they pop off. What you do is you pop this little piece right here 
you unplug the little wiring this is the wiring right here you unplug that little wiring uh and you can just hit a little few what you, what you gotta pop this off pop you boop 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 take those right off there pop the jeep and the door come right on off it's another way you can take it off too actually you can just hit that up right there take that off and that off and then you just lift up on the door and it come right off you know what i'm saying you take this little screw right here out and that little screw right there and then you lift up on the door it pop right on off instead of doing all that stuff i just told you to do do not take these off my bad i forgot my bad <laughs> but you are gonna have to take this you are gonna have to release that you, you don't have to take that out so they be, know that for sure but uh let's work our way on a little further down we got the tires and the reels. We can't skip off on the wheels. We can't, this particular Rubicon, Gladiator Rubicon is coming with some LT285s with a 70 wall, side wall on a 17 inch wheel. Looks good. I love these, I love these uh, wheels on here. It just seems like they missing something. It's like, they look real good, but when you got like a, a tire like this, a smaller type of tire, it just, it just takes away from the wheel, you know? I wish that they would give it, just go ahead and give it a 35, 14 wide. You know what I'm saying? Give them a 35 with a 14.5 or a 15, point, 15 and a half wide, 14 and a half wide to make the wheel pop a little more. Because these little tires on here, they take it away from the, they take away from the wheel because it's actually a beautifully done wheel, you know? It's not overdone. They kept the Jeep black, like the, the Jeep emblem in the middle, they kept it black like they should have. They put the nice little chrome on the outside, and letting them know it's a five star. Yes, it's a five star. One, two, three, four, five. Five star, and you got another star inside. One, two, three, four, five. Bet you didn't know that. You learned something today. But yeah, you got your uh, keyless entry on this particular one. Keyless entry. And uh, your gas tank right there. It's not, it's not a, you don't, you don't open it from the, uh, Hit a button, you just press in on it. Wish they, I wish you could only open it from the in, hit the button inside and it open, but hey, they trying to save money, you know what I mean? So nothing special, they should have made that gas tank black though, if it was me, I would prefer to make that black. But hey, you gotta you gotta take what you can take, you get what you can get, you know what I mean? Same, same wheel setup from the front, it's gonna be in the back, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be the same exact setup. Oh, how you know it's the exact same setup? 280 it says 285 70 side wall on a 17 inch wheel like i just said same setup but you get the nice little jeep little jeep sign on the wheel too just a little that's just a little uh little gemstone i showed you a little giblet you know a little giblet but yeah nice nice everything's looking good we're gonna work our way to the back to the bit neck work our way to the bit neck now the bumper the back bumper on the uh jeep gladiator is really nice really i think it's real sharp it almost looked like an aftermarket bumper because it's giving you those big old red toe hooks bam bam nice little black and then it's got the little rigid little rigid little gripper so when you stepping up on that uh tail you don't slip and fall and bust your we're not gonna say but you know what i'm talking about bust your butt the lights look wonderful I love the lights. I love how they put the little black in there to, in, to integrate it with the red. Looks real good, real, real good. Love it, love it, love it. Then you got your little Jeeps. It says Jeep on the side. Jeep Performance LED. That lets you know the top notch, top of the notch, top notch lights. You got your big fat Jeep emblem in the back. Can't go wrong with the big fat Jeep emblem in the back because we want everybody, and I mean everybody, to know we rolling in a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Yeah. And you got your nice little camera so you can see what's going on behind you just in case somebody's trying to creep you yeah let's open this back bam open the tailgate you see what we got it's already got the nice little uh rhino type covering in the uh bed cover you got your little um 15 volt 115 volt watt plug in right there so when you at the so so when you at the uh, tailgate party, you just plug it in in the Jeep, plug the radio in the Jeep, and everybody can party while they watching the game. Or you can just plug the TV up back there, you know, and you can everybody can watch the jet, get, watch the game in the back of your gladiator, in the back of your gladiator. You set that up. You got your nice little plastic tunnel cover, Mopar tunnel cutter, cover at that, Mopar tunnel cover. I couldn't talk for a second. I couldn't talk for a second. But let's get inside this bad boy and see what it's talking about. 
Oh, we can't sit, we can't fit in the back seat because we got a couple of things back there, you know what I mean? Because it's brand spanking new. But we got the peanut butter good nuts. We got the peanut butter guts. The peanut butter guts. Got the peanut butter guts. So look, look at that. Leather with the white stitching. I wish they would have just stuck with the peanut butter guts with the peanut butter stitching the same color too. You know, you got your little arm rest. Let me pull that down with the two cup holders right there. You got your two cup holders. The back of the door is like any other Jeep door. You just got your regular old handle. You unlock and uh, you got your regular handle, metal handle. It's not metal, it's really plastic. It just look like it's metal. And it unlock, unlock button. You control your windows right here. For those who don't know, you don't control your windows on the door. For those who are not familiar with Jeeps, you control your windows right there. There goes your vents. Nice vents. I love the smell. They got your 115 volt right there. Plug in right there. You got your USB port. Two, can you see it? Two USB ports right here. Bam. And you got the C ports too. I think they call C ports. I'm, I'm not for sure. So you got your old style and your new style. I see you, Jeep. I see you, Jeep. And before I let you, before I go to the front, now is the time to buy you a Jeep because they got too many Jeeps. Stellantis is trying to get rid of all the Jeeps. So if you was gonna buy the Jeep, now would be the time to buy the Jeep. It it is May of 2023 for those. Just in case you've seen this video in 2056, it might not be a good time to buy a Jeep. Then. But yeah, let's get to the front. <laughs> Yeah, let's sit in here. Oh, well, well, look at the match. You get the, these some nice Jeep match. When I bought my Jeep, I ain't get no match like this. These, these matches fire. These is crazy. Nice little Jeep match. Say Jeep right there. And uh, same way with the door. You got your regular old lock and unlock. You got your uh, mirror controls right there. You got your little regular old fake metal handle. But you do got that nice little gladiator, gladiator emblem right there. I didn't get that on my Jeep either. I didn't get no Sahara. My Jeep didn't say Sahara right there, so that's something new and special. Dashel. Got the Rubicon stitching in the seats. White Rubicon stitching in the seats. I like that. I do like that. See how they had the peanut butter right there? When I said it should have been peanut butter all the way through, I don't understand why you put peanut butter right here, but you put white stitching right there. Maybe it's just so, so, so it could flow with the Rubicon. We just gonna say it, they, they, they made a plan for it to flow because then you got the black, gray. With, they should have just made this great. They should have made this peanut butter too. Why is this black? I don't get that one. Why is this black, but you made this peanut butter? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't the one to design it. I ain't the one to design it. Maybe this is a special order right here. But uh, you got your thing. The steering wheel is very nice. This is very sharp steering wheel. Very sharp. Got the Jeep emblem. I love that. I can't complain about anything on this steering wheel because I like the little metal. I like how the, all the, everything just flows. You got your little cruise control sets right here. Control your menus with this and all this right there. Your phone. Answer your phone right there. Only thing I wish they would have had maybe a flat bottom steering wheel. That's about it. Other than that, it's good. You got your uh, miles per hour right there, 120. Definitely can't hit 120. This thing is probably they probably got it governed to by about 90 miles an hour, maybe 100, maybe 100. Probably got it governed about 100. But you got your RPMs right there. Then you got to hold on. Let's see if I can hit it again. Got your RPMs right there. It says key fob. You got the, the teeny what the eight inch screen. It says Jeep. Big boy Jeep since 1941. Yes, sir. You got your little bitty baby digital dash in the middle. And your, your black dash. Is, feel like it's leather, but I ain't gonna go out on the limb and say it's probably not leather, but it feel like it's leather. You got your speakers. It's, it's not a, this not a, this is regular, it's not an alpine system in here because it don't say alpine, so I don't think it's alpine. I don't think this is an alpine serial system. You got your granite cover, little interior, little decklet dash. Um, you got the Jeep little handle right here, your little hold handle. I don't know what that's for. It's probably when you're off roading, you got to hold on, you know what I'm saying? You bouncing up inside now, you got to hold on. But yeah, you got your front and rear uh, control, diff control, uh, off road, the sway bar. I don't know what all that stuff is for because I don't off road my Jeep, never have, probably never will. This controls your windows. There goes your uh, climate controls, that controls the volume on your radio. There goes the uh, where you can find your radio stations you know take this is to turn off that automatic start every time you stop at the stoplight it won't turn off and uh yeah you got your four-wheel drive controls right here you got your regular little jeep controls park reverse drive park reverse neutral drive you can go into manual mode i don't know why you would do that in automatic but some people do 
Then you got your nice little Jeep uh, gear shifter. It's big too, it's a fat boy. It's a fat boy, look how fat it is. And it's got the little Jeep Gladiator on there. Nice. Two little cup holders right there. And uh, you got your detachable roof on here. You can take the roof off. There goes a little hinge just to unlock it. Bam, bam, bam. You can do the same thing in the back. You got your little stereo system right there, which is nice. And hey, the stereo systems in these Jeeps are excellent. Even, even the lower tier one is good. Great, I mean, great. I mean, you can change it out if you want to, but you want you want you want, you don't have to. It's because I think it's great. But uh, uh, let's see what they got in this little box. They got your little cubby hole. Got your nice little uh, USB port right there. You can put a little bit of snacks right there. You can put a whole bunch of Skittles. I wouldn't recommend Skittles. They say they's bad. Those are bad for you. Just put a whole bunch of popcorn in there. You know what I'm mean? saying? Whole bunch of popcorn. And there goes another little like hold your little uh, pocketbook, little money holder or something. Your little wallet or something on your phone. And uh, that's about it, man. That's about it. There goes your little um, glove compartment. Very small. I know you're like, they ain't that small. I know it's super small. Say the same thing. But other than that, got your little vents up front. All your little vents. You get four vents, two on each side, for the passenger and the driver. And uh, that's about it, man. That's about. That's what you get. When you get a Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. So if you're in the mood to getting you a Jeep Rubicon Gladiator, look at this sweet bad boy. I figured I'd give you a quick little review, show you what you're getting and what you're not getting. You know, a quick little interior, exterior review of the Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. Then you get this antenna. I would, I would advise if you buy one of these, make sure you get your custom antenna, get you a stubby, because this big, this thing is crazy. Come on now. Come on, Jeep. You could have did way better than that. We definitely give a Jeep a fart for that. But yeah, other than that, this is what a Jeep Rubicon looks like. Looks real good. When you buy one of these, I would recommend you get you a four inch lift and get you some bigger tires. Get you a bigger wheel and tire setup than the stock setup. So you can do a little bit of off-roading or you can just do a little bit of mall crawling. Whatever you like to do, just do it. But with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend about me. Especially if you got a friend looking to get them a Jeep uh, Gladiator Rubicon. Make sure you tell them I did a review on a Jeep Rubicon Gladiator 2023. This is the 2023. How much they want for it, T-Light? -like? They were, they did want $74,000 for it. They knocked off $4,000. Now they only want $70,000 for it. And this is a 2023. And this bad boy seemed like it's loaded. Yeah, it is loaded. Cause look, the base price is fifty thousand. They wanted seventy four, so they got look all these little things. You can pause it and see all the stuff if you want. Cause I ain't gonna read all of it. I read some of it. You got this silver coat paint, leather trim seats, uh, leather wrap park brake handle. You got your tow package, uh, your receiver hitch, trailer hitch, zoom, cold weather group, heated seats, heated steering wheel, uh, LED lights, remote start. And you got your uh, 17 inch wheels and uh, some other goodies. But with that being said, it's your boy, T Light. Oh, yeah, big shout out to the Werewolf King. No, much love to the Light Crew. You already know how I feel about you. Hopefully, you enjoy this Jeep Rubicon Gladiator 2023 Jeep Rubicon Gladiator interior exterior review. And we are about this piece. Jitig Be the fan, that's what they call me Promise that you never be lonely Be the fan, that's what they call me